This will be epic. The outdoor season 2024 is coming soon. The last time we saw a stunning 100m race was on the 17th of September in Eugene, Oregon. At the Prefontaine Classics, we were so excited to see the Diamond League Final 2023 over 100m. It was a great race with 100m world champion Shakir Richardson, the 200m world champion Sharika Jackson, the track star from the Ivory Coast Marie Jose Talou, and the two time Olympic champion over 100m and 200m Elaine Thompson Hara. At the fast track in Eugene, Sharika Jackson didn't care how many races she already had during the season. She still pulled away from the field and won in stunning 10.70. Marie Jose Talou equaled her season best in 10.75. Elaine Thompson Hara finished third in 10.79. Shakari still raced pretty fast and placed fourth in a time of 10.80. Around 6 months later, we can look forward for the first 100m races of the season 2024. Just to give you a couple dates you shouldn't miss. On the 6th of April, the Miramar Invitational will be held in Florida. Last year, Shakari shocked the world at this meet when she raced a wind aided time of 10.57. On the 14th of April, we can expect great performances at the Golden Grand Prix in Botswana. The first Diamond League meet of the season will be on the 20th of April in Xiam, China. One of the most asked questions in the Olympic season 2024 is, who will be the fastest woman over 100 meters? Sharika Jackson made great progression over the short sprint distance. As you probably know, the Jamaican track star dominated over 200 meters like crazy. In 2022, she raced the second fastest time in history in 21.45, when she won her first individual world championship gold medal in Eugene, Oregon. This year she even improved this time when she defended her world championship title in 21.41. Over 100 meters the Jamaican improved her personal record by 7 hundredths of a second. In 2022 Sharika raced her fastest time in Monaco when she got second in 10.71. In 2023 she raced her fastest time at the Jamaican Nationals in outstanding 10.65. In the final at the world championships over 100 meters she finished second behind Shaka Richardson in 10.72. Sharika is such a powerful athlete, excellent start, good sprint endurance and a nice stride length. It's possible that the 29 year old is able to break the under 10.6 barrier this season. The Avarian athlete Marie Jose Talou is fighting for her first Olympic medal. At the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary, she ran a great race in 10.81 and placed 4. At the Diamond League in Oslo and also in London, Marie Jose beat Sharika Jackson over 100 meters. Totally three times in the season, she ran 10.75. In 2022, she improved her personal record over 100 meters in the national record of 10.72. Marie Jose finished fourth at the Olympic Games in Rio 2016 in 10.86. At the Olympic Games in Tokyo, she also finished fourth in 10.91. Marie Jose is very consistent, especially her start is extremely powerful. If the Avarian is able to come close to her personal record, it's possible that she can fulfill her dream and win her first Olympic medal. Shakai Richardson shocked the world in 2023. After running the incredible college record in 2019, Richardson struggled many years and couldn't qualify herself for international championships. In 2023, everything changed. As I already mentioned, in April in Miramar, Florida, she stormed over the finish line in wind aided 10.57 the second fastest wind aided 100 meter time in history. At the Diamond League in Doha and Silesia, she beat Sharika Jackson two times in outstanding 10.76. After winning the US Championships with a new personal record in 10.71, she was ready to compete at her first World Championship in Budapest, Hungary. In the heat, she directly showed her dominance and won in solid 10.92. In the semi final, Shakari totally missed the start but qualified herself for the final in 10.84. In her first international final, the American track star went totally crazy. After a good start, Shakari finished her race absolutely amazing and won her first gold medal over 100 meters in a new personal record of 10.65. 10 days after her sensational win in Budapest, the 23 year old competed at her third Diamond League of the Year in Zurich, Switzerland. It was a stunning battle against the Jamaican sprint legend Elaine Thompson Hara. Shakari proved again her amazing shape and won in 10.88. In Zurich we saw again how strong the young American is able to finish. The American is young, powerful and hungry for more medals and faster times. It's possible that she is even able to break her personal record in 2024. If Sharika and Shakari are staying healthy the whole season, 
These two phenomenal sprinters are the absolute favorites for gold over 100 meters. Shelley and Fraser Price already announced that she will retire after the Olympic season 2024. The 37 year old track and field legend struggled with injuries in the last season. Shelley was still able to win the bronze medal over 100 meters at the World Championships in Budapest in stunning 10.77. In 2022, the Jamaican won her fifth World Championship gold medal over 100 meters. In 2021, she raised her personal record of 10.60 in Lausanne, Switzerland. In 2008, the Jamaican had a run of her life and won her first Olympic gold medal in Beijing over 100 meters in 10.78. Four years later, the powerful athlete defended her Olympic title in London in 10.75. Shelly Ann has so much experience, if the Jamaican is able to stay healthy, she is for sure able to fight for another Olympic medal in her last season as a professional sprinter. The youngster Julian Alfred already showed in the indoor season 2024 her stunning shape in world history for her country St. Lucia. At the World Indoor Championships in Glasgow, Scotland, she celebrated her biggest success in her career with a win in 6.98. The NCAA champion over 100m and 200m has the big goal to win the first Olympic medal for her country St. Lucia. Elaine thompson hara struggled with injuries in the last two years. In 2022, she still managed to win the bronze medal over 100 meters at the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon in solid 10.79. Sadly, last season, Elaine couldn't qualify herself over 100 meters or 200 meters for the World Championships in Budapest. At the last competition of the year, the Diamond League final in Eugene, Oregon, Elaine celebrated a great comeback when she finished third in 10.79. Elaine is such an outstanding sprinter who achieved so much. In 2016, she won the Olympic Games in Rio over 100 meters in 10.71 and also over 200 meters in 21.78. At the Olympic Games in Tokyo 2021, she defended both Olympic titles in 10.61 and 21.53. On the 21st of August 2021, we saw one of the most epic races in sprinting history. Three weeks after the Olympic Games in Tokyo, the unbelievable Elaine thompson Hara wrote history at the Brevetin Classics in Eugene, Oregon. The Jamaican legend raced in 10.54, the second fastest time in history over 100 meters. Only the world record holder Florence Griffith Joyner raced faster in 1988 when she ran the world record in 10.49. The highly talented Jamaican can for sure surprise us in 2024. If Elaine thompson hara is able to stay healthy, she can win her next Olympic medal at the Olympic Games in Paris. Now my question for you, who is your favorite at the women's 100 meters? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.